you've been here a while, you know that in this house, getting your hair done is nothing new. It's an important moment when we can teach the kids that self-care is important. It's a time for affirmations, conversation, and also fun. But lately, it has not been so fun for Uriah. He's visibly distraught at the mention of doing his hair, and especially during the process. So after having a courageous and hilarious conversation with my wife. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? I knew it. I knew it. We decided to cut it. Hello, 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 look at me, I've been fresh I've been walking with my savior, yes, I'm trying to do my best Yes, I'm just a bag of bones, trying to shake up by the flesh When you see me, never stress When you see me, see me, see me, you say Hello, 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 look at me What's the problem? But he likes his hair, don't you like his hair? Uh, Fred, listen No, no, let him answer the question No, listen, I don't, no, listen <laughs> so interesting how often we attach ourselves to the identity of our children. Um, this is not the first time we've had this argument. We had it once before with Theo's hair. And now, um, and then we had it again with Uriah's hair. But I was on the opposite side. Yvette wanted him to get his hair cut. And I did not. What would you say about sister's hair and my hair and mommy's hair? You want to cut your hair? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want it all cut off like Papa's? Uh, no. Wait. You don't have to be that drastic. Give him other options. Don't give him other options. Like what? Like Mom and Dad, I said someone's here. I said someone's here, and Dad's a woman, and, and I didn't wash my hair. You want your hair cut off a little bit? Mm -hmm. you, want me to no. cut, you want me to cut the sides like I do? No. What do you want it? You want it off, like cut low? We should pull it. No, I want, I want them, I want my hair cut a little bit, and, and that's, and that's it, okay? We should pull up Google and let him choose styles. You think I'm going to let a three-year-old choose his own hairstyle? Wait a minute, I'm going to style here like this, like the night has. See? He wants his hair short like the nice. Why do you want to cut your hair? That's the question. Why? Does he really need a reason though? Yes. Oh, that's a good question. Why? What is this? My hair gets sick up a chap and it gets silly and sometimes it gets in my face. Yeah, you're tired of having it on your head, huh? We can try a different style of dress. You want me to show you some styles? Uh, oh, you can style your sure. hair. Well, do, wait a minute, babe. But he is certain that that's the decision he really wants to make. I just want you to know that if you want to cut your hair, that's okay. Okay. And but mommy can show you some styles. Mhm. Mm I still want my hair to be cut like I'll get done. Okay. What I am glad though is that our children know how to advocate for themselves and not just do what their parents want them to do all the time. They still have their own identity and sometimes parents, we can get in the way of that. Just to go deeper into it, right? Um, why are parents or why are we so attached to our children's identity, their hair, the way they look, how they dress, why, right? I think it would be inappropriate to categorize this into some type of um, living vicariously through, you know what I'm saying, them like, oh, you know, you're bald. Why? Of course you want your children to have hair. You're trying to grow your hair through your children. I think it has more to do with the fact that we as people do not look forward to change. We don't think change is going to be beneficial all the time. And so we don't really look forward to it. There's so many things that are changing in life, right? People are born, j jobs are lost. You know, things are shutting down. You got to stay home. You know, you can lose a job. You can lose a loved one. Uh, things can just change all of a sudden. And one thing that we can count on is that our children are going to be there consistently to give us love. You know, sometimes that, that we look for that cuddling uh, that we look for. And sometimes the way they look is so comforting to us. And the fact that they're getting older 
uh, is a little scary. You know, like I think about Uriah as a young, young baby and how, you know, precious he was and Theo precious, all, all of the kids. Right. And, and they're still precious now, but it's just different. And I think we we kind of get scared of that quick adjustment, you know, um, but honestly, like just I'm just thinking about when I cut Theo's hair and that whole thing happened, there was a transformation that happened inside of him. That transformation was the child that he was truly being held back because of his hair or this burden he had to carry around. And who knows, this burden may have the same effect on Uriah. We don't know. We are ready to embrace the change. But honestly, for me, this isn't just about embracing Uriah's change. This actually is annoying to me. Doing Uriah's hair is something that is a challenge because he he doesn't sit still he doesn't um he doesn't like the process he's you know two minutes in he's over it you know when when theo gets his hair cut it's a it's like a process that he enjoys it only takes a couple minutes but uh, it's a process he enjoys just the attention that i have one-on-one -on -one. Good for me. What? Good. Do you what? All done. And believe it or not, Uzi has the same uh, poise as Theo has, like the same like regard. He's excited whenever I say you about to get your hair cut. My hair cut? My, my hair cut? Like he's excited to get his hair cut. Uriah is like, bro, if you don't hurry up and get off me, it's just a whole different situation. And so I, I recognize that. And because I'm annoyed, <laughs> I want to also relieve tension for myself and the stress because I don't want to hate this process. I don't want to not look forward to doing Uriah's hair or, or being a part of that. Um, so I want to make it easier for him. Um, and, and even Anaya, like I, I was watching Anaya get her hair done and man, it looks like she was being prepared for a ceremony. She loves it. She loves the attention. She loves the, the way it feels. She's, I mean, those braids be tight and she's not tender headed at all. She just... You know, she just goes with the flow. And now she's making suggestions of how she wants her hair to look and all this stuff. So, with Raya, it's different, though. You're growing up fast. Why can't you just slow down? And if I'm holding you back, then I need to know now. You're growing up fast. Why can't you just slow down? And if I'm holding you back, then I need to know before I let you go, 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 oh, oh. before I let you down, I'm gonna lift you up, before I let you down, I'm gonna lift you up. It is done. Girl. Whoa. How do you feel? Because I can stop. Okay, your job is going to be to put these in the bag. It's no such, look, it's no such thing as my world without you in it. I know sometimes we push each other's patience to the limit. No matter how you spin it, you'll be with me through infinite. Miles and all your smiles got me feeling like I've been winning. I remember back in the beginning, it was hardship. And now I can't believe maybe the cards flip. And now I can't slow down, even the bars spit. I gotta do my best, you never hit my jaw slip. I just wanna be giving you proper lessons, cause daddy never wants you to go through the type of depression I have. See, it's a blessing, I'm glad falling in love with yourself. I know the ignorance of this world can never help so we gotta rise above it to discover and try to fight evil with love so while your mother and i are steady doing our best i just want you to know i'm enjoying every moment while i'm watching you grow your growth i mean i mean it the most i'm glad i see it up close come on let's go i wish we could give him like a numbing some situation for his hair So this is exactly why. Low ball. Remember he said he didn't want a head like his dad? <laughs> yeah, that's what, he, that's what he want. That's what he deserves. <laughs> Buddy, you got this. You got this. I'm almost... Look, look, look. Here. 
I'm gonna put more in this area. It's just that one area, and then I'll use my fingers for the rest. <laughs> Your dad is so right. I hate it when he's right. Why are you making it right? Come here, bud. Please. Let's do hugs. Come on. Now I can't slow down, even the bar spit I gotta do my best, you never hit my jaw slip I just wanna be giving you proper lessons Cause daddy never wants you to go through the type of depression I have see, it's a blessing, I'm glad for in love with yourself I know that it Dad, mom said she hates it when you're right Do you know that, Dad? <laughs> well, now he does, right? Why? Now he does <laughs> She doesn't, she hates most days, so. <laughs> Before I let you down, I'm gonna lift you up. Before I let you down, down, I'm gonna lift you up. Before I let you down, I'm gonna lift you up. You're growing up fast, why can't you just slow down? And if I'm holding you back, then I need to know now You're growing up fast Why can't you just slow down And if I'm holding you back Then I need to know Before I let you go I cross my heart and I hope to keep all of my promises And no matter the climate is And I'm hoping I honor this relationship Cause face it, it's hard to be a father When you're worried about the naysayers that taste it I gotta let you guys know that I really appreciate your patience with this video coming out. I know you guys have been waiting for it. Um, those of you who have subscribed and hit the notification bell, that right there is the best way to know when we're gonna be putting out videos. I don't want you guys to miss it, but sometimes life gets in the way. You know, um, it's been a, a very interesting season. Yvette's been gone for about three weeks. Um, and so we've been, uh, you know, surviving, you know, here and, you know, really thriving with me, me and the kids and um, all the supporters who, who come through and help us out. And then there's, um, I had another death in the family, um, and, I, and I'll talk about that later, um, but it was pretty traumatic for me. Um, and so, um, yeah, I had to take I had to take a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate your patience. Um, and uh, it's been about a week since, the, uh, you know, the person passed or whatever, but I just wanted to let you guys know that um, change, right? Change is going to happen. Um, <laughs> and I was thinking about it I really need more time with my family and I was like man in a perfect world I'd love to be able to take like like a week off a month you know it's like work four weeks or three weeks super strong and take a week off or something like that and I know that's like a luxury but just hear me out um, I would love to be able to do that but you know work is demanding and you know the things I want to accomplish are demanding and I, I have music and I want to do this other thing and I got this other thing and the clients but the truth is life is going to take a week from you it's going to take a couple weeks so you can either take that week yourself or it's going to take it itself you can either take that week off yourself on purpose or life is just going to steal it um and that's another thing like with uriah like he's becoming who he's becoming and there comes a certain point where you have to trust your children with themselves that was a big lesson i learned with Theo, and i'm excited to uh i'm actually excited to see what what this blossoms in uriah and we never know so i'm looking forward to it let me just see if i can grab him and see if he wants to say a couple words am i gonna talk on this you're talking on it right now whoa And I'm going to answer it? Uh, I, that, well, I hope so. That's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is, how do you like your new haircut? 
great. What didn't you like about your old haircut? Well, that it looks weird. It looked weird? <laughs> yeah, it looks weird on the videos. <laughs> and and it and it's too long and it sometimes gets in my eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cool. And ha how have you been enjoying getting your hair cut since then? Forever. How? how as long as I had it. I know, but do you do you like getting your hair cut more now or before? More now. Okay. Why? Because it's more. Sh it's more. Um. Like. It's like more. More faster to get hair. My hair done. And it doesn't quite hurt as when when I had hair like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. That's it. Anything else you want to say? Well, peace. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Protect your life. Keep your network popping. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, make sure you watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share it with them. See y'all next time. Peace. Hello. 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 Hello, 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 hello.